Alright, well, hopefully the game is recording this time, because the first time the game didn't record, that was just a pain. Alright, well, uh, this is so loud. Jesus. Well, uh, I am... Yeah, that's good. Well, um, I am Big Al 227 from Dual Prospectors, and... Yeah. I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough on Call of Juarez, Gunslinger. And hopefully it's gonna be fun. You know? Alright, let's play this. Story. New game, because I keep doing the first mission and it doesn't just be normal. Yeah, so. Put a little trailer up before. I mean, yeah, some, some parts are like kind of weird, but I just put it together in like less than like an hour. So, I'm just gonna shut up now and let the story play out. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair-trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Alrighty, a nice little story. It was about 30 years ago. 30 years ago, Jesus Christ. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. Let's go. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. Oh, but before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly, so I had this me. funny feeling. You had a funny feeling. Funny, haha. -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Bruh. The damn birds. Oh, my voice. I hate when this happens. You heard that. Voice is like just too to tired. That's not fair. We're missing hungry. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Is he with us? Is he with us? I don't know. Is he with us? What is it like a Garrett Fossey? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Iron will. They're coming from the Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out. So that's just what I did. Hey, have one behind us. Hey, covered fire. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, <laughs> Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Just love the story. Can't shake it. That's nice. You ain't going nowhere. Hmm, it's reloading. Garrett's men were running around like a 
a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Send these son bitches run! I was so much ammo. You can run. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot I of them were the saddle tramps, or sod busters, or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. <laughs> Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Did I really just die? Oh, that was stupid of me. I can't go out there like that. Come on. Back door! We got we'll you. cover you! Watch your play! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as bad. Who was shooting me? They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but the I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Rains bullets. It's rain bullets. And like that, I was inside. None the worse for wear. Now we meet Billy. I passed Dirty Dave. Billy. Billy. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Bruh. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. And deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. I can't even see him. Oh. Reloading. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of balance. It I really means just that it that. was time to cut and run. GTA they got a gambling, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. Push the door. He directed that order into me. And I thought, what the hell do I have to do? bitches are done for. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is this joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Right. Making my way past a parcel of fallen foes. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Oh, yeah. And just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach.
Ugh, this is just absolutely terrible. Uh, well, I don't remember that there's a secret right here. I already picked it up, though. So. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. Oh, my God. This game just makes me tired. him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Uh, here we go, bro. Oh, this focus thing. It's like fly. Come on, takes like half an hour to like to move the thing. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So what let me start mean, again. Bro? I finally reached those damn stables. I'm in the stables. Step right. inside, and bam! <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. You just can't start. All right, well, that was, um, a fun, if you can say that, a fun first, uh, walkthrough episode thingy, yeah. All right, well, see you people on the other side. Don't forget to, like, like and subscribe and check us out on Twitch and all that good crap. Goodbye. Bruh.